How did the various ballot initiatives go yesterday? Uh, this is a very important and interesting question, given the fact that the rest of the election was a disaster. The Republicans uh, maintain the Senate. The Republicans maintain the House. Donald J. Trump is now the president-elect, something that most analysts thought was not even a possibility. Of course, I thought it was a possibility. Um, turns out that's exactly what happened here. Uh, but there is a silver lining. There's a civil... Uh, civil... <laughs> Not civil at all, but silver lining in what happened yesterday. And that's the direct ballot initiatives. So uh, progressive causes won almost across the board. The only area that we know of right now, there are some results from the different propositions, the different direct ballot initiatives that haven't rolled in yet. But um, when it comes to the death penalty, I think that's the only area where people didn't go in a progressive direction and they went in a more conservative direction. And the U.S. has always been an outlier among modern nations where other modern nations don't have the death penalty, don't want the death penalty. And we've always been like, yeah, we kind of want to kill people. So I, I disagree with it because we oftentimes kill the wrong people. But that's the one area, at least as of right now, where the, the progressive positions failed. So where did we win? Quote, Massachusetts, Maine... Uh, Nevada and California voters approved recreational legalization of marijuana, of course. Arizona voters appeared to have rejected legalization. Okay, so we won one, two, three, four, four of five when it comes to legalization. And remember, in Arizona, specifically, we covered stories of the pharmaceutical companies, the alcohol companies, they were dumping so much money into misleading ads to get people to vote the wrong way. So that may be solely the effects of money in politics and misleading ads that led people to vote it down in Arizona. But everywhere else, they couldn't, the cat's out of the bag, they couldn't hold it down. California, Massachusetts, Maine, Nevada, all of them now have legal recreational marijuana. We may have passed the tipping point. Because what are you going to do? I mean, first it was uh, Colorado and Washington. Eh, what are you going to do? Uh, it's just a few states. Oh, Alaska. Oh, shit. Slowly but surely it spread. Now we're talking about a giant legal industry. But here's the problem, by the way. At the federal level, it's still illegal. All you need is one shitty president to say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to crack down. And then it's done. So now we're all on the whims of Chris Christie. Uh, excuse me. Donald Trump and potential Attorney General Chris Christie to say, mm, you know what, okay, I'm going to let it go. But they're both anti-marijuana, pucker your buttholes. All of these gains, conceivably, theoretically, can be taken away like that because marijuana is a Schedule One drug and the federal government could crack down on the states. Now, they might not do it. It's possible they might not do it, and they might say, you know what, we're risking too much for the next election, and blah, 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 blah. we don't want to do that, we're just going to leave it as is. That's possible. But just know that they're fully within their legal rights. If, if today, or not today, because President Obama's still in office, but if, you know, uh, next March, if uh, you have President Donald Trump decides that, you know what, we're just going to just go in there, Feder uh, the federal government's going to go in there and shut down every marijuana shop in Colorado and in California, he's well within his legal rights to do it. The states can countersue. It'd be pretty ineffectual because the case would clearly go to the federal government and it's all shut down. So we have to change the law at a federal level, which now is harder to do because Republicans control everything. But the good tentative good news is the states are saying, we're going to try to go so far with this that you can't put the cat back in the bag without, you know, fucking riots in the streets. On the medical marijuana side, Florida, Arkansas, and North Dakota all voted in favor of medical marijuana, and Montana also appears likely to approve it. I don't know what the numbers are exactly right now. This is from last night. I only got like two or three hours of sleep, so it's not that long ago. This was from, I don't know, maybe five o'clock in the morning that these numbers are from. Uh, we're still waiting on some of the direct ballot initiative results to roll in. But now the minimum wage. What's going on with that? Quote, Colorado, Maine, and Arizona voters approved minimum wage measures raising the wage to $12 by 2020, Washington voters approved a plan to raise the wage to $13.50 over the next four years. So, uh, minimum wage won across the board. Whenever it goes up for direct ballot initiative, always passes because the American people on this issue are not assholes. They go, oh yeah, that makes sense. If you work full-time, you should make enough money to survive. I'm in favor. Even conservatives. 80% of the American people want to raise the minimum wage to a living wage. So that's why every time it's on a direct ballot initiative... We win! Because the American people are actually progressive. 
The Democratic establishment is not progressive. They don't run progressive candidates. So given the option between a uh, 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 Republican light or Republican, they go with Republican. But in terms of the issues, they're progressive. And finally, Colorado approved physician-assisted suicide. Um, so that's good. I think they're the sixth state now to have death with dignity. So in other words, you're terminally ill. You are in so much pain. Hey, I want to end my life and I want to do it humanely. You're allowed to do that legally. That's in, I think, six states now. Hopefully that spreads too. So liberalism won on the direct ballot initiatives overwhelmingly. Didn't win in the House, didn't win in the Senate, didn't win at the uh, for president. But this is the silver lining of what happened last night.